Spoiler warning, this contains spoilers for the latest chapter of Lost Belt 3 in China. If you don't want to be spoiled of what happens in Lost Belt 3, please avoid this video. But if you want to be spoiled, have fun! In Fate Grand Order, the master, or should I say, mistress, third Lost Belt of China, who goes by different names such as the Crimson Beauty Under the Moon, Hinako Akuta, but her true identity, Yui Maui, aka Consort Yu. Consort Yu is an incarnated elemental, not a true ancestor which are Type Moon's versions of vampires, such as seen as Tsukihime, although she still is counted as a vampire. She has lived since the Age of Gods before settling in China around 200 BC, become the close concubine of Zhang Yu. She is thought to have died in recorded history, but she continued to live after that period. However, after 2000 years after Zhang Yu's death, she was recruited by Masbury Atmosphere, Olga Marie's father, into the Kaori Security Organization. Masbury proposed to give her a new identity, which was Hinako Akuta, and to be somewhere to be at peace. He believed her status as being similar to a true ancestor will allow her to perform the Grand Orders and as well forging her background as she was enrolled in the Clock Tower's Bonitary Facility. Later on, she became a technician at Caudia, but she was chosen as one of the 48 Caudia candidates once her talent was discovered. She then later became a member of Team A. To keep her true identity a secret, Consort Yu refused medical examinations Hinako planned to summon a writer class servant, something that she strongly wished for, due to her husband Zhang Yu to be one of the writer servants. In her time in Claudia, she did consider Ma Xiu, a pseudo-servant homunculus, to be a good friend and grew a close bond with each other, although fate had different tides for those threads of friendship. In 2015, the incineration of human order by Goetia commenced. When Himako and the rest of A Team were set to raise shift Nifuyuki Singularity with Liv Laneros Floro set bombs to kill the Kodia staff. A Team and the other masters were in their raid shift coffins at the time of the explosions. Romani decided to unnatch cryostasis to keep the masters from dying. With the master of Kodia, Ritsuka, or Godako, completed the Grand Orders during the time they were frozen, and they were all set to be healed and revived from cryo sleep throughout 2017. Unknown to Kaudia, Krishta Wudheim was contacted by the alien god for the plan to replace the greater history of man. At Wudheim's behest, the alien god took other six members, including Hinako, giving them each control of the seven lost belts. They declared themselves as the cryptors. The alien god launched the attack of greater history a year after Galatia's defeat at the end of 2017. Hinako was granted the Chinese lost belt, summoning the saber rather than her desired rider. Well, so much for the lore-wise of the Fate Universe, but fret not everyone, I shall give you more information about the lovely Consort Yu. So, without further ado, let's open our books and get to learning! I do apologize in ahead of my Chinese, for my Chinese is not the best. Yu Maioji, or Yu Ji, with her birth date unknown, and two theories where she was born. The first theory is said she was a native of Yangji village in Shunhang County, while the second theory claimed that she was from Jiangsu and Shizhou, but it both is stated that she was born in present-day Jiangsu. In 209 BC, Zhang Yu and his uncle Zhang Ling started the rebellion to overthrow the Jing dynasty. Consort Yu's older brother, Zhu Jigi, was serving in Zhang Ling's army as a general then. Concert Yu met Zhang Yu, fell in love with him, and became his concubine. Ever since then, Concert Yu followed Zhang Yu on military campaigns and refused to remain behind. Married to her husband, Concert Yu was captured during one of her husband's skirmishes with Yahan Xing and quickly paced in Gaixia. Zhang Yu, knowing that he was walking to a trap, mobilized his forces to save the woman that he loved. He sent most of his army towards the capital of Ping Zhang, and with a hundred thousand warriors, marched towards Geishia. Once Zhang Yu's forces have entered the canyon, Hang Shi deployed his troops in the ambush from ten sides, destroying the army. Zhang Yu and his remaining forces fought on until nightfall, finally rescuing Lady Yu. Knowing that Zhang Yu was surrounding Geishia, with a few fighters and no food remaining for Zhang Yu, Liu Bang and Hang Xing in the darkness ordered their men and the captured enemy soldiers to sing the native songs of Shu. 
The songs reminded the remaining Shu forces of their homes and their families and further demoralized the army. As such, men began deserting in the darkness and headed for their homes. Hearing the Shu songs on all sides, Zhang Yu rose to stop the deserters by force, thinking that the Shu territory was lost. But at the request of Lady Yu, relented and those who wished were allowed to leave. He then sat down with Lady Yu, and it is said he had composed a lament of Song of Geisha with Lady Yu and sang his lament. Lady Yu performed a sword dance as she sang her verses. Surrounded in the singing of Shu, my lord's spirits are low. Why then should I live? Blaming herself for Shu's defeat and wishing to save Shang Yu from further disaster through his love for her, she killed herself with his sword. Although surrounded by enemy forces, the troops steadily deserting him, Zhang Yu ignored the pleas of his counselors to move on and buried Lady Yu in the Geisha, erecting a large mound over her grave to prevent desecration. A concert used tomb stands present in Lingvi County, Anibu Province. A true love story of the ages. Anyway, with this lesson over, this is your teacher Hana, and class is now over. Have a great day everyone and be safe!